Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain pretty much everything you, know you need to know about a Google measurement ID, also known as Google Analytics ID or Google Analytics code. Now, really what this video is about is trying to show you where to find your code and how to add it to your site. But we'll spend, oh, just a few seconds and explain what a Google Analytics ID is and uh, exactly what it gets used for. What is a Google Analytics ID? Well, look, it's the tracking code that Google uses to find out everything about your site. So when a Google Analytics ID gets created, it gets added to every, well, you are supposed to add it to every page of your website. And because that code is there, it calls back to Google. It calls back to home, as we like to say in the business. And as a result, Google is then able to track what page somebody entered your website on, what page they left on. They can tell how often pages are visited. They can tell if people spent a time, a long period of time on one page and not another. They can tell if things were clicked on. And Google is able to determine a whole pile of browser settings. So things like what browser are they using? You know, Safari, Chrome, Edge, whatever. Uh, what language are they using? How large is the screen? Is it on a PC? Is it on a laptop? Is it on a tablet? What part of the world are these people coming from? What language do they speak? And they combine all of that information into their Google Analytics platform, which is a free platform that you can use. Now, as you can see on our webpage here, we have a lovely uh, you know, graphic explaining exactly how to get into Google Analytics and how to find your code. Uh, but we'll go through it together right now. And then we'll show you how to add it to your WordPress site, how to add it to your AMP site. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. You don't need it if you don't know. And uh, it, also, if you just have a plain old HTML page, we'll show you that too. So the first thing you need to do is go to analytics.google.com. And if you haven't already signed in, click sign in in the top right hand corner. We have already signed in as you can see. Now, this is for a new uh, site that we have called Issues Lab, which specializes, by the way, yes, we'll do a shameless plug. It specializes in uh, details about electric vehicles, the energy sector, and new technology. So it's uh, interesting. Uh, now, at the bottom left, click the cog for the admin site. And then in the middle, you'll see data collection and modification. Click data streams. And from data streams, you think, I got it, that's the code. Nope. Click the arrow at the far right side. That's your code right there. And Google knows you're going to need it, which is why it comes up with copy. Now the question is, where do you put that code? Because that code needs to be on every single page of your site. So what you need to do is go to your site. So in our case, we'll go to issueslab.com and uh, we will sign into our WordPress administration page, which we will not show you. And bingo, there we are. Now, what you want to do is go to your plugins and you can download and install a pile of plugins to add your Google Analytics ID. However, the best thing to do is just to use Google Site Kit. So simply go to add new plugin and search for Site Kit. There it is. Click on it, select install, and then select activate. We've already done that, as you can see. Then Site Kit shows up at the top left. And if it's your first time through it, it will prompt you. But if you've already got it set up like uh, we have, uh, and uh, but you didn't have your IDs, well, you can add them now. So you click on settings, go to analytics, and you think, well, here it is. Here's, oh, edit in analytics. Nope, that's not it. You have to click edit at the bottom and then enter your codes in here. And you can see we already have our Issues Lab Google Analytics measurement ID code added here. And by the way, you think, oh, he's showing us this information. That, isn't that confidential? No, it's on every page of our site. Anybody can pull that out. So we said that we would show you how to add it to your WordPress site, your AMP site, and your HTML site. So let's go off to AMP. AMP, by the way, is Google's standard for very thin and light browsing experience, which uh, is basically meant for mobile. And it's when things get small. So let's just take a quick look here. Uh, I have already installed AMP on this Issues Lab site. So uh, we will click on AMP and 
uh, here, uh, we can go into the analytics tracking and bingo, there's our code. Now to be clear, if you don't have any idea what AMP is, you probably want it if you want your site to be successful and you have any business on mobile. So once again, if you don't have it, simply go to plugins, uh, click add new plugin and type in AMP. And there's a ton of them that are AMP related. Uh, we've tried a number of them. The one we've settled on is AMP for WP by this Ahmed Kaloudi uh, gentleman. And um, it seems to work just fine. It's free and you can see it's pretty popular. The last thing we want to show you is how to add this to a straight HTML page. So let's say you're a developer and you have not uh, used WordPress or Joomla or, you know, an other CMS content management system. You're just writing old HTML or ASP. No problem. Just go back to your analytics page, right back to where you got your measurement ID, scroll to the very bottom and select view tag instruction. And Google tells you how to do it. So are you using WordPress or Wix or Joomla or Shopify? What are you using? We've already explained how to add your Google Analytics measurement ID to WordPress. Uh, but if you just want to add it manually, just the code, there it is. Just add that code to every page of your site, which if you know anything about HTML or even ASP, uh, you add it to the head meta tag. So that's it. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Super helpful with the Google algorithm. Also, wouldn't mind if you visited our sites. And hey, if you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urteth.ca or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.